Hello and welcome back to Real Life Adventures. As many of you know, in one of my previous videos that I did on the whole setting the snare trap, I had a little hatchet with me. It's just a little Gerber hatchet. I said this is not going to be the axe that I would bring with me if I was to go on alone. Well, I started doing a lot of research on what type of axe I would like to take. The only axe that I have right now is a six and a half pound actual splitting axe to split wood open, just shy of being an actual splitting maul. So I started doing a lot of research. Uh, got in touch with Council Tools. I actually spoke with Rooster up at Council Tools, discussed everything that I would like an axe to do. We went through a lot of different options with them. Uh, come to the conclusion that I wanted to get the 28 inch handle, the boys axe. So today FedEx just stopped by, dropped it off, and we're going to do the unboxing, initial impressions of it, and then I'll probably get out there and actually do some work tomorrow with it in the woods, something like that. All right, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go grab it from the front door. Bring it in here and we're going to do the unboxing. And here we have the box. Packing list here. Don't need that. Get this thing open. Some serious tape on this thing. All right, so there we have it the council tool 28 inch boys axe. You see right there. Here's the price of it, $31.99. It's a nice little axe right here. So looking it over here, has the Made in the USA stamped right there. On the flip side, has the Council Tools stamp right there. Let's check out this face. It's not too bad. Right out of the box, that feels pretty all right. Definitely put a little bit more of an edge on that. Overall though, like the feel, like the weight. Like I was discussing with Rooster as well, with this particular size ax, I'll also be able to use it to make some feather sticks with it as well. And this is just a good all around use ax for backpacking, hiking, you know, whatever woodsman, you know, bushcrafting, whatever it is that you're looking at getting into. This is just a really good all around ax. Not too big, not too small. It'll be able to handle the job. The one question I had is some people were saying that the wedge here was an aluminum wedge. Now I saw a few other people were mentioned that they had came out with a composite. So that is one thing that I am curious about as to what mine has. So I am going to use something to scrape that off. Right here, got some paint right up top here. I'm gonna scrape that off and we're gonna see what type of wedge is used. So I can already tell you just by scraping into it that this one has an aluminum wedge in it. Now how well you can see it right there. So you can see the aluminum shining through as I scrape it. So this one has an aluminum wedge in it. Um, now I heard a few people mention that after some use of this, that with the ones that had the aluminum wedge in it, that they were actually loosening up the head a little bit. So that's one thing I'm definitely gonna be looking for is seeing if having that aluminum uh, wedge in there is going to have any effect on the performance of how this thing is held onto the handle itself. So we're gonna be checking that. But overall, first impressions, uh, I am very, very happy. Ultimately, I want a good solid ax so that I can use it if alone ever picks me up for the show. This will be that ax. This will be the ax that I take with me on the show. So like I said, once I get out there and I do some testing, some chopping on it, I'll let you know how the head is holding on with that aluminum wedge in there. And I'll just give you the overall review of it. 
As always, thank you all for watching. Have a great day.